Okay, let's go hiking. We're going to calculate a view shed. A view shed is a the computer uses the digital elevation model and from a point that you select on the terrain it will show you everything that you can see from that point in 365 degrees. Okay? And why is this useful? Well, uh, if someone was buying a house they might like to know what view they're going to get from that house. If um, someone was interested in uh, being able to see a certain point, for instance, um, Thomas Jefferson famously built Monticello on a hill that allowed him to overlook the construction of University of Virginia. He built that. But the more modern application of this, of this uh, view shed tool, it was uh, cell phone, cell phone connections. And cell phone towers need to be what's called line of sight, or um, not cell phones so much as um, uh, radio, um, radio transmitters, uh, microwave transmitters. <clears throat> they have to be line of sight. So the view shed was used to figure out where they had to put other line of sight receiving antennas. And then they would kind of leapfrog this throughout the landscape by calculating view sheds from every location where they had a tower. Anyway, it's a very useful tool and although it wasn't intended for real estate, real estate agents use it a lot. Okay, so here we are. We're going to start out at the lower Stonian Man parking lot and we're going to make our way up to the top of the mountain here. And you start down here at this parking lot and you're working your way up to this rock overlook. These are actually old lava flows, basaltic lava flows. I won't tell you that story now. Um, and you're looking west, okay? And what would you see if you were looking west? You'd see this. Here's those old lava flows you're standing on and the valley, Shenandoah Valley, JMU is out there somewhere, and West Virginia, okay? Um, but what are we actually seeing from here? And you can do that using ArcGIS. Okay, so here we go. You come back to the map and let's find Stony Man. Um, you could search for it like I did up here. Type in type in the Stony Man Overlook and actually maybe I should type in Stony Man Summit. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if it'll work. Pretty close. Stony Man is actually not there. It's right here. Okay, so we got to Stony Man, 4,016 feet tall. And if you look closely at this, you can see this terrain, the, the, the cliffs. This is where you would stand for that view. So we're going to make a view shed for that point. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go to Analysis, Find Locations, and then choose Create a View Shed. We don't have a point yet, so let's place one on the cliff right there. So click a dot, make a, we'll put a pinpoint right there. And then it says height of the observant, observer location. Well, <clears throat> you're on top of, now this is on top of whatever this is. So if this is the ground surface, the elevation of your eyeballs might be six feet above the ground if you're six feet tall, let's say. Okay, so this doesn't mean six feet because you know you're standing on a, on a mountain. But let's go ahead and, you know, I'll leave it at six feet. You can pretend you're tall. Um, and then the height of other objects on the ground, um, we'll leave that alone. Um, maximum viewing distance. Um, I happen to know that you're going to be able to see, and let's take a look at that for a minute. What should we put in there for that? So let's, um, if we scroll out, We'll come back to our point. But if we scroll out, you're going to notice that you, in that picture we saw earlier, we were able to see those mountains. Okay? Well, those mountains are these mountains right here. All right? And if you look even more carefully, you'll notice that you can see a lighter blue row of mountains behind those. Okay? Behind those green ones is kind of a bluish line of mountains. Well, where are they? those mountains are these mountains. 
okay and if you really look carefully if you really look carefully in that you might be able to see there's an even fainter row of mountains over here a little bit that you that you could barely see um, and you may not see it in this video but it's there and those are these mountains right here okay the big Shenandoah mountains in West Virginia okay so let's zoom all the way back here to our stony man there's our stony man point and we've already we can stay at this view because we know we're going to see across the valley so this is a good perspective just like this all right so let's change this though I measured this earlier that's 12 miles and we can see all the way to the to the next ridge uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say we put um, like 40 miles in here let's put 40 and then let's try to oops is the maximum distance is 31 so we're gonna go with 31 and now that's interesting we can do more than that in ArcGIS uh, Pro okay and I'm gonna call this test test view shed and I'll put it in my same my contents second quarter quarter folder and then we'll run this analysis this might take a while so I may edit it out we'll see okay well that took a while and what's interesting is it's actually not as good a result as we get in pro and I know why notice how some of this looks blocky it's because the digital elevation model that's used in ArcGIS online is low resolution um, if we were doing this in ArcGIS Pro we would maybe use a 10 meter resolution digital elevation model and it would look much better but it still gives you a really good idea yep there you go see what I told you um, it, go, it does show you what you can see um, and from this point right here looking west and a few ridges of the mountains to the north we're just looking at we see much of the valley but then we can't see what's on the other side of these mountains because they're blocking our view unless they're tall enough to peak above that row of mountains and interestingly this 31 mile limit that is imposed by ArcGIS Online is the only reason that we didn't get to see these. Okay, but that's how you do it. And I think that's fascinating. Um, if I'm looking at um, property, places that I want to buy a house, I run this often. Um, I want to see what the views are. Um, and so and this is an easy way to do it. Okay.